Oh, look, oh, look, These are just snipes I stole. Hey man, you got a bag of snipes. But well, packing your house wherever you go, it kind of sucks. No. It's what we're used to. Depends on who you yeah. ask. Yeah. Like the... Depends on who you ask. You, you go to bed at dark and you're up and gone by daylight. I mean, nobody wants to be constantly on the move, but... but well, what but else are you supposed to do? You, all you got to do is collapse the tent. Yep. And all your gear is still in the tent. You put a little bit of weeds on top and you go out a mushrooming all day and panhandling all day. Yeah. <laughs> Come to Oregon, get yeah, lunch, free lunch, because there's nothing like that over there. It's like an all-day job, kind of. It is. You're on the go constantly, non-stop, from sun up to sun down, just for okay. 20 bucks, if that's what you make. Sometimes less. We sold some videos today. Yeah. We got 50 cents a video. <laughs> buy videos or buy food? I mean... We get food stamps. What do they give you? One hundred and ninety dollars a month. I mean, do the math. That's not one ninety. I get one ninety four, one ninety three, something like that. You, you gotta find can. a buyer for them, though. What restaurant's gonna buy them? I mean, you know, that's like canning. It's hit and miss. You go walk around all day in the woods, get soaking wet, not make a dollar. You can go oh, walk around geez. all day long and pick up cans and not find a damn Look can. It, oh, yeah. You can't. Yeah. If, right. Well, if, like a restaurant just hooked this up just now. Then you got the buyer. I just bummed this one. He's out again. I didn't get it from juice. this guy, though. <laughs> like, you oh said God, you were going to work, and I seen you put your uniform on. Yeah. Cater so. water. I'm stuck over there the on the other side of the bridge all weekend. Oh, you, did you can? Did you do the can? No, well, I stayed up last night and helped Sam. Can all weekend. Cool. Come back on Monday with double bags full of cans. <laughs> And then I went to Camp Riley at today, yeah. so I haven't had a chance to do any canning. I'll kind of sort of, yeah. Stuff. yeah. Well, I can do it tomorrow. I got some cans to take back today to Sam right now because I haven't took any back yet today. Yeah. Um, to trade out one staff, well, I don't know if I could trade them out, just swap over like that because I'm not used to that kind of lifestyle. I'm used to this lifestyle. You know? No, bro. I was born in only childhood. I grew up on the streets. I grew Hi, up Chris. how I'm living now. I mean, so you pretty much don't know. Anything. I mean, I, I've, you know, my family had money, but I was always in black sheep. I mean, I've had money. I've had full-time jobs, my own apartments, lived on my own, raised my own daughter. I mean, I know what it's like. But, um, when I lost everything, lost both my parents, lost my daughter, lost everything. I'm not ready to go back the other way yet. I mean, I'm going to go work this summer. I'm obviously ready for a change, but now I'm out here with these. What what person, business person, is going to walk by here and go, oh, that guy's worth this shit, or that guy's worth this shit? Not a single one. And my, I'm, I'm an ex-convict. I'm a felon. I have a criminal history. I'm not a sex offender, I'm nothing like that. But I ha I've i been to prison, I've done my time. They run a background check, you know. I never graduated high school. Well, you I'm know, 40 years old. Because? <laughs> because it's people that aren't ready to change. They just work the program. What? what? It's, they just, they get pushed through the system. They're parole officers, like you have to do this. Or, Let's go get some beer. You know. And unless you're somebody like me that's wanting to do it, willing to do it, to put in the footwork, to put in the effort to do it, you're not going to do it. It's like drug rehab for a drug addict. Yeah. If you're not ready to do it, you're not going to do it. You're just going to go through the motion. That's why me and him are going to go to Alaska. But see, me and him, we're canning right now until we can go to Alaska. We're turning in our applications. We're going to go to Alaska. We're going to go work in cannery for the winter. That's, yeah, that's guaranteed money. You just got to go want it. You got to go work for it. You got to earn it. You got to want it. How many of these people are going to go, okay, I'm going to go jump on an airplane and go to Alaska and go work at a cannery? None. Go see you know, go see it's paid it. for. You just got to put in the footwork and want it. It's hard work. But what are you making sleeping on the streets in the rain and the cold every night? It's a want. A lot of these people just want a beer every day. I want a beer every day and I want to work. Some people don't want money. They don't want to have clean clothes. They don't want to have. They don't want to shower every day. They don't want. 
I'm scarred for life. Just because I'm homeless doesn't mean I have to, you know, be nasty. A shower. Um, to be able to visit my parents because they're deceased. To be able to talk to them. You know, they were always there for me growing up, you know. Now I don't have that. Now I'm on my own. I'm an only child. It's 416. We gotta catch our bus. Yeah. Friendly yeah. advice, you know. The security. I don't want to cut this short, brother. And no, I'm I appreciate sure I'll it. see you again. Yeah, thanks. Very, I hope you guys thank you. And I hope you got some good, you know, information. No, don't tie that around, Roy. Really.